So before I actually start the repair video, I wanted to point out a few things as I was editing it, editing this video. I thought of some other things to point out and show you. Uh, of course, the whole idea about this video is how critical it is to watch these paint lines. So that paint line there, that's probably about a quarter inch drop. Uh, this is the, the slide, the slide itself, and this is the wall of the RV. And this is in particular on the, um, you see it on a lot of Winnebago's. It's the HWH system. It's called HWH Space Maker. It's also called uh, HWH Stormore or Stormore Level 4. Um, in fact, I got a, a manual here. Now, this manual is really nice about telling you how to adjust things and how kind of how things work. Um, and I noticed I, I, try, I had a hard time trying to locate it on the, on the web, so I'm going to link to it um, below, my, below this video so you can download a copy yourself and keep with you because it's very handy if you have this type of mechanism where it's HWH system and your slide, your living room slide goes out and drops down level. That's the type you have, which is a great ideal, except it's a little bit more complicated. You got some mechanical mechanisms in there that that need attention over time. They, they wear, things get out of adjustment. If it gets too far out, damage can occur. And that's what I want to show you here, uh, what, what kind of damage can happen. Okay, I'm going to start this video again. If you watch carefully, you'll see the room kind of jumps up over this piece here. Let's, I'm going to hit play. Alright, here we go. Okay, okay, I see the problem. Alright. So you see how, how actually the room, when it hit this part, the room is kind of lifting up over it. And what can happen, it'll do, and it'll, it'll do that for a while. And what's what's happening is it's on that, um, what's it called, a slide shoe. Let me get it on out here. Well, actually, here's a better picture. Uh, this is what's coming in contact. As it because it's normally it's flipped the other way and this is the part that slides across your carpet because remember when that slide comes in all the way to that slide is sliding across the carpet that's why when people sometimes make the mistake ripping up all the carpet and putting down a hardwood floor it gets destroyed because this hard plastic is now sliding across it and it just gets all scratched up something awful but as things wear this will start to hit this mechanism this little support bar and one day, if you if you don't if you let it go too long, it's going to hit one day, and it's just going to bend everything over. And I'll show you a picture of what it looks like when it gets bent, and then you got a real mess on your hands. Okay, so I pulled up an old this is an older video. I did this many actually it looks like five years ago. This on my channel here, and this gentleman brought this to me. He was actually up in New Jersey. He he couldn't couldn't find anybody who'd want to touch it, so he brought it to me, and we got him all fixed up. But he mentioned to me he kept hearing this noise every time he'd take the room out but really didn't stop to investigate and that was the same thing was happening it kept hitting and hitting until one day it finally hit so hard it bent everything all over and uh, you can see it here you see how it how it bent the bolt there it is so that bolt was all bent up so we had to buy these new bolts had to take all all that support arm sort of port arm had to remove all that and had to support the room while we while we did so it was pretty good sized job and it also was on a 38J floor plan yeah there's another another shot of it that's how bent that is and you don't want that to happen to you and it surely will if you if you don't uh, stay on top of these things and and take care of them so it like I said this video is on our my, my channel already you can see how I supported the room got me some milk crates and some tube of tins ran all the way across there because I had to take all that mechanism apart but anyway got him fixed but I point this out because I don't want this to happen to you. So uh, let me show you a little bit more how this works. That's where this PDF is saying it kind of gives you a detailed view of the mechanism. So we've got these two rams, and you know, it's like a telescoping effect, but there's one point and it has to transfer and drop down. And that's where we have these little flippers in there, and that can be a problem too. And sometimes those can fail, and, and the box can jam up. And I've never had, I haven't had that happen to me, but I've had other people experience that. Um, but it talks about all the all the different adjustments and how to go about uh, doing your adjustments. And of course, here's a good picture of just the RAM by itself, what it looks like when it's not installed in an RV. Now, here's something to be mindful of. Remember, I mentioned the flippers. You've got this little part here that flips out. That kind of that's these. And I've never been been inside of one of these things to see exactly how it works. Someday I will, and I'll make a video on it. But uh, that's kind of the engagement point, and those can sometimes 
uh, jam up. And when they do, it'll flare the box out and can really pose a problem and can be kind of expensive to, to repair. So hopefully I never see that day, but you never know. Things can happen. Okay, and here's that. This is called the, the floor cross member. And that's that adjustment belt. That's what usually gets bent on you. It'll fold over. And after you make your adjustments, you'll have to fine-tune this. I don't think I mentioned that in my video. But you have to adjust this. So, And the best way to do this is have someone operate the, the room in and out as you're under there. And watch it as it transfers. You want to make sure it just clears. Because that little uh, glide shoe, slide shoe, whatever they want to call it. You want to make sure it's not hitting that real hard. It'll, it'll may just barely touch it and then come on top of it and, and rest. The weight of the room will, will rest onto this, this bar here. But that's your critical adjustment right here. This, this one, one thread's right-handed, one thread is left-handed. So that way when you rotate it, it's gonna either go raise up or go down. I came across this old video and I saved it. I thought it was kind of interesting because there's no sound to it and it's really old and grainy. But you can see how this is like a brand new RV. They haven't even built the RV yet. But the, you kind of get an idea how that mechanism works. That's the, the, that's the floor of the slide coming in and coming out. And it's got a couple other shots here that you see. See how, see how it's transferring? How it comes up. And then it, this part telescopes in. So it's very unique mechanism and that took a lot of engineering I'm sure to get all that just right but that kind of gives you an idea of how it operates because it can be kind of hard to tell because that'd be like the, the outside wall of the slide kind of give you a better idea of actually how it works well I think you got the idea of what how it works and what's going on what we're trying to achieve here so, and, and as this video goes forward, you're going to see how I made my adjustments to get the paint lines back up where they need, need to be and uh, keep that uh, slide shoe, glide shoe from coming in contact with that support arm so it doesn't get, get bent over. So here you go. Well, we got another victim today. This is a, this is a Winnebago Atasca Sun Cruiser. I guess that's right, isn't it? 38J floor plan. And my buddy here has got uh, slide issues like the 38Js sometimes do. So he hasn't had it open for a while because every time it did, it made a horrible noise. And of course, right off the bat, I noticed the paint lines are way off. See, that thing's dropped quite a bit. Same way on the other side. The paint line is what's hard to see in, that, in this color, but it's down too. So our goal is to try to get this back in position. So the first thing I did, I looked under here to check the the plastic pieces on it if you can see you can see this one's broke out just a little bit already it's got some wear now the, the triangle pieces they still look good now a lot of times they're the first to go and I already sprayed me some uh, dry lube up in there just to lube up everything to get it to come out the first time let's go check the front one well, let's unlock the door You see the front one, it looks like it's got a little wear on it too. So over time, everything wears, everything starts to drop lower and lower until things start to hang up and start catching. So uh, we're gonna ease this thing out and see what we can see. I see we've got some rubbing going on over here too. So we'll get into this, try to get it diagnosed and try to get it working for him. Uh, all right, go ahead and take it out. See what, we're, what we see. What happens? Okay. All right, more. All right, no more. Okay. Let me check something. All right, no more. No more. Uh, it's not transitioned yet. It's about to. Okay. A uh, little bit more. All right, getting pretty close. 
a little more. It's, it stopped. Yeah, just bump it again. Okay. Let me check everything out under here. Okay, one more time. Okay, okay, I see the problem. Alright. You see this thing jump up? Alright, bump it again. Okay, okay. Right, we're hitting this really hard. Is that little flex went over? Alright, take it out some more. Alright, a little more. A little more. Okay, a little more. A little more. Alright, we're all, we're all the way out. Alright. Now bump it in just a hair. Okay. No, come back out just a hair. I just don't. I right, go all the way out. Okay, now bump it in just a just a tick. I just want to get the pressure off the walls. Okay, perfect, right there. All right, that should be good enough. I can get in here and start making some adjustments. See what can, what we can find out. All right, so next step, I'm gonna lower this down a little bit and get me some clearance. See, I call this like a jack bolt. One thread is right-handed, one's left-handed. So as you rotate this. As you twist this bolt, it'll bring things closer together or up. It, so I'm going to lower it down just a little bit. I'm going to do it the same on both sides. And then we'll get under there and gotta start taking everything else loose. Okay, here's a good example. If you put in type of like lithium grease or something other, it makes it just a sticky mess. It's really, a, it's not what you want to do. You want to use something like this liquid wrench, RV dry lubricant, dry spray, dry lube. That's what you want on those, that plastic. I guess this is, maybe it's made out of Teflon or something. And you want to get in here and lubricate all up and down here where it rides. You can see where these plastic pieces are. Well, when this telescoping, the shiny metal part, it retracts all the way back in here. And all that weight is riding on these little plastic blocks. So you want to make sure you got good lube all the way across. You can see where they've been running all the way through there. Of course, on the sides, on the tops, and these little plastic wedges are real important. See them right there? You want to spray those really good because they take a lot of that load as it's lifting. This is called the Stormore HWH system. So it's got that odd transitional part where it ramps down and uh, sometimes they can give you trouble. Kind of tricky to adjust. So so what I've done so far, I've loosened up all this stuff here. All, all these are loose. These are loose. Got these loose. On the other side, I've loosened up those bolts. So my goal is try to get our paint lines lined back up. And that is with these two big three quarter nuts here. So I'm gonna loosen up those, probably give it like at least one full turn on each side and tighten it back up and we'll see, we'll see what that does for us. We'll do it on both sides. So I'm gonna get me a few more bigger tools and we'll get at it. Okay, some of these bolts can be a burger to get to. These are easy, but the ones on the other side are a pain. So I just got it broke loose. I'm going to kind of show you how I did it. So I got the wrench on the lower nut. But you can't really get in there to get much leverage. So I took my cheetah pipe, got up in here, right here, and then applied pressure and broke it free like that. Easy peasy, but it took a few minutes to find a good strategy. But uh, that worked out well. So I will break the bottom nut free. And then the upper nut, I will rotate one full turn. Well, I've changed my mind. I've decided to go two full turns on the upper nut because that thing was about a quarter inch drop. And then we just come in here and tighten up the lower nut. Well, put the gear, put the drive in the correct direction. There we go. things moving. I right, get two hands on it, get a good and snug. Alright, so I'm gonna crawl over there 
and do the same thing I did here. And we'll be ready for a little quick test run, see if we get these paint lines looking better. Okay, I'm going to show you again, like on this side, it's very difficult to get enough leverage. So you can see what I've done. I've got my cheater pipe going up in here. So I give me some leverage. Just give it a little push. There we go. Broke it free. No problem. All right, I want to point out that this is somewhat common for a 38J floor plan because our ram is located way over here and the way of the room it, it sort of bends slightly. So you notice you see the floor here it, it's actually kind of high we, down here we've got it looking pretty good right now. Sometimes you'll look at a 38J and you'll see it really low at this point that tells you you need to adjust, adjust that room to get it raised up because sometimes it'll hook and tear your tile all two pieces. A lot of 38Js, that's something you need to look, look for. But this one's looking like it's pretty good. So we're doing a couple of tests on it right now, make sure we got it adjusted right. Okay, so we've made our adjustments. See the paint lines back where it's supposed to be. Looks really good. Let's go check the other side. The other side's kind of dark, it's hard to see as well, but yeah, you see we're back, we're lined up now. All right, we're gonna take it all the way out, see what it sounds like. All right, go all the way out this time. That sound better? Awesome. Alrighty. I think we may have got this worked. All right, so I'm pretty well pleased with my final adjustments. Uh, I think I did this, what did it, about one and a half, two turns? No, two, two and a half turns, I think, was my final to get my paint lines to line up. And then you have to come back and tighten up all these bolts here on both sides, tighten up these. So we'll get everything good and snug, and tomorrow in the daylight, I'll show you what the paint lines look like. I think it's going to turn out really good. It's, we'll open and close it several times. It's nice and quiet now. It's not hanging up on the floor and making all kinds of racket. So hopefully we've got this fine-tuned and adjusted. And uh, I was going to point out, I think it may help when you spray. Because remember you got this, you got the ramp, the forward ramp and the rear ramp. You see where I got that, my white lithium spray? I've been spraying it up in here. There are little slots up in there. Let's see, set like a little slot. You can spray it up in there, let it run back into that slot. And I think it may help get some lube onto that plastic slide there and uh, help transition that load keep it keep everything working smooth and uh, as you can see why I've sprayed it all all up into here really good where it's been sliding keeping that thing lubed is a very very important so all right tomorrow we'll get some daylight and uh, see what it looks like okay final test all the jacks are down pasture slide just went out bedroom slide is out and we're going to take this slide out. And notice how good the paint lines are. Yeah, I'm ready. Everything's working. Looks good. Sounds good. I think it's fixed. Okay, now remember when we first started how the paint lines were off about a quarter inch. Now they're lined up nice and straight. It goes in and out like it's supposed to. Not hanging up, popping and cracking and carrying on. That line's good and even. So I'm gonna call this fixed. Good deal. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Have a blessed day. See you, bye.